That's right, folks. One book down already, and it was a surprisingly good read in the all in all. George Bernard... I just said Bernard. George Bernard Shaw's An Unsocial Socialist was the read of the day and a little bit yesterday. There were a lot of great things about this book, namely the beginning and the end. The middle was very bogged down, and I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I did not off several times reading it. But I am, of course, not so easily deterred. The thing that made this so interesting, for me at least, is that it was a real criticism of society in the time. Even forgetting all the socialism junk, it was a critical look at the way marriages and relationships panned out during this time. There wasn't any space for real love unless you wanted to sacrifice your social standing. But Sidney Trefusis was sort of the exception to this, yet he was also the biggest hypocrite, I think. Even though he believed himself to be a real free-thinking, ingenuitive man, and he did make some lovely points as well, doing and saying some very wonderful, loverly things, he still, for the most part, was really still playing into the society scene, trying to make his own ends meet. There's a lot about this book, actually, that I could say. I could sit here and talk about all of these characters and what made them great or what made them not great, what stood out about them and what didn't, because the characters really drove the story forward. But instead, I'm going to pose a question that Trefusis asked of Agatha. Do you really believe that any human being was ever unselfish enough to love another in the storybook fashion? It was probably one of those things that hit me the most while I was reading because it's one of those romantic questions that can be pulled out of the setting of a novel and slapped into any lovey-dovey situation. And for me, I've always believed that one day, love will be the way it feels in a storybook. Like words fitting together to create a perfect sentence. Not Edward and Bella love. But actually finding someone to care about you. And it's something the girls, especially in the story, bring up. Mostly Agatha, because she's a almost a tomboy of a character. She's very rebellious, and she wants to make everybody notice that she can't be phased. But when she lets you in, and when Shaw lets you in on her emotions, you can see that she's very easily hurt, and that she definitely is thinking about love. But yeah, this lovey-dovey garbage is kind of making me sick after reading all of this in one sitting. So... I will say that it's a very good book, an under-recognized story, unfortunately. If you have a Kindle, I recommend reading this hands down, especially if you like three or character-driven stories. The middle definitely is slow, but getting to follow all the characters, essentially there are really the main six that you're dealing with, Agatha, Chester, Brandon, Gertrude, Sidney, and Jane, that makes this story so interesting. To add to that, the way Shaw managed to transition from point of view to point of view was so clean and smooth, it almost caught me off guard. Go! Download. Now! Are you downloading? You better be. <laughs>